biosafety levels are a set of biocontainment controls that are required to separate the biological agents based on the risk they cause on the environment and human beings. These levels are ranked from 1 to 4. Each level has specific controls for containment of biological agents and microbes. The controls are based on the infectivity of the disease, severity of the disease, source of the agent, and route of invasion into human body. These biosafety levels play an important role in designing the facility, safety environment, and laboratory practices. Each biosafety level has its own standard laboratory practices that one must follow. However, each microbiology laboratory, irrespective of their biosafety level, must follow the basic good laboratory practices. Let us discuss about each biosafety level, individually. Biosafety Level 1, or BSL-1 As the lowest biosafety level, it includes the microbes that are non-pathogenic. Laboratory personnel can work with minimum risk in these facilities. BSL-1 labs do not need special containment equipment. People can work on open bench tops. These labs are typically used for students and trainee microbiologists. Example of BSL-1 organism will include the non-pathogenic strain of E. coli. However, basic safety practices must be followed in these facilities. Biosafety Level 2 The biosafety level 2 is for microbes that are associated with human diseases. That means, pathogenic or infectious bacteria and viruses are included in this level. Examples of BSL-2 microbes may include Staphylococcus and Hepatitis virus. BSL-2 labs are expected to have more controls than BSL-1. In addition to the standard laboratory practices of BSL-1, these practices must be followed in BSL-2 labs. Biosafety Level 3 This level includes the microbes or agents that can cause serious or potentially fatal diseases through inhalation. BSL-3 facilities are usually under the control of government agencies, and the laboratory staff is under medical surveillance. Examples of BSL-3 microbes may include yellow fever and the bacteria that cause tuberculosis. BSL-3 facilities should maintain unidirectional airflow, from clean air to the infectious air. The recirculation of air happens through HEPA filters. Additional laboratory practices must include the following. Biosafety Level 4 The BSL-4 facilities are rare in the world, being the highest level of biological safety. The BSL-4 microbes cause fatal infections. The diseases caused by these agents usually do not have vaccines for treatment. Two examples of such microbes include Ebola and Marburg viruses. The BSL-4 facility must be isolated and have dedicated supply air and exhaust air. In addition to the practices of other BSL laboratories, these practices must be followed in BSL-4 labs. If you like the video, please hit the like button or comment and share. Please do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notified on the upcoming videos.